Welcome back to the show, everyone. We're we're finally in round two versus Isaac Frost. Thank you, Epic Music. So since I managed to get to round, oh god damn it! Like immediately, I'm in the corner. Yep. I just get need out to focus there. to get it. Yeah. Anyway. Stay in the middle. Watch his shoulders. So now that uh now that we've made it to round two, I won't just immediately rematch if he takes me down because I don't want to have to go through the first round again. But the fact that I got through the first round without being knocked down is good. Yes. Your stamina and health are looking great. I am glad I turned those on because seeing my health, my like my current health is useful to me to tell me like uh, to to tell me when to just abort even countering. So basically, the two strategies you found were after you survived the first two rounds, either go for a bunch of low blows or go for a bunch of body shots. Yeah, well, and, you have to. You need to... Right, but like there's no tips for getting past these first two rounds. Right. All right, well, again, I'm going to hope that that's enough. Because I don't have too many of those in me. I think I've got maybe three. Watch out. I think he will. And believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent. Watch out. Don't corner yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to. The problem is I can't just run right back at him or I'll walk into a punch. Yep. Watch his shoulder. God damn it. Wow. See? Jesus. This is fucking impossible. Oh, my God. All right. Okay, again, there's no three knock... There's no three knockdown rule in this game, so even if he takes me down a third time... Oh, come on! Really? Two, one... Okay. Now you can focus on body shots. You need 75 over the three rounds. Beautiful work! Like you talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. <sighs> I think that I think the game makes a checkpoint at every round. So if I fail from here, I can restart from round three, I think. But come on, come on! Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. So again, the guy didn't actually tell you anything because the game is telling me land 75 shots to the body. Yep. So the guide is 100% useless. Pretty much. Yeah, and again, he, it's not like he's just standing there without any sort of... Jesus. And it's over! Look at this! Bishop... Now do you see the whole thing with this goddamn game? Yep. And round number three is underway. Because... I mean... Okay, hooks seem to be a better option since they come out faster. Yep. 25 of them, at least. I was going to go for uppercuts because they do more damage, but... It is a count here. It's not a... Fuck. It's a count, not quality. Quantity, not quality. Yep, the hooks are definitely the way to go. Alright. Uh, I would really hate to run into Isaac Frost in a dingy alleyway. <laughs> or a bar parking lot. Some 
Bishop's body work is now having quite an effect on Frost. Is that having an effect? Because it sure doesn't feel like it's having an effect, Joe. Oh, shit. Get away, get away. See, because every time... You've got the 25. The longer this goes, the lower my overall health is going to be. And, like, so every round is going to be that much harder to do. And, again, this is on top of the fact that I've already been knocked down twice. Now three times. This is nothing and I'm coming to a point where it's going to be impossible to, like, actually do anything. The good news is as soon as you lay down all these body shots, in 8 to 12, he'll be like any regular boxer. Well, yeah, but I won't be. Again, I'm going to have very little health by the time I get there. Okay. You're doing good. 25 more. You got this. I think I'm actually getting further... I think I am further than I ever was in the other one. Like, I don't think I could ever got past round three in my first save. So, uh, Frost is definitely a lot slower now. Maybe the maybe there was something to that after all. Shit. Back away, back away. I have to pick my spots. Whoops. How will he overcome this? <laughs> Bishop is down. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm getting up from this one. Oh, maybe I am. <sighs> That's got to be my last one, though. I don't think I've got another one in me. Well, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, it's not moving. Yeah, I am holding right on the left stick. But again, I think the checkpoint will take me to the beginning of this round. Yeah, I'm done. And plop. Good night. That's it. Fuck. Yes, recent... Nope, it takes me to the beginning of round three. God damn it. Oh, that's and fucking annoying. So I'm... And see, it takes one punch. Like, I'm to the point where, yeah, I should just let him finish me off. Jesus. I'm telling you. Because if I, I think if I just hit rematch, yeah, if I just hit rematch, then it takes me to the beginning of the whole fight. So, I mean, I guess I may as well keep trying, but. Yeah, this is. Oh, that's not happening. I'm up. <laughs> the get up. I'm down. Yeah. Synchronized swimming has always been my dream. The system to even get up is really annoying. I think this is what discouraged me, because I think this is like. This is. Oh, come on, man. That is so dumb. It's that much harder because you have to dodge and land those fucking shots. Yep. That's what I'm saying. It's stupid. Like, I don't know. It, it makes sense in context. I'm just surprised EA went this route. Because it doesn't seem like the kind of thing they would do in a modern game. Because this really is a punch-out situation. And the thing is, instead of increasing the difficulty in increments, it gave you two buffer matches. Buffer matches? Yeah, one where you took a dive and the other one where you were friggin' invincible, man. Oh, that's a good point. I hadn't really considered that. I'm gonna eat your marshmallows. My marshmallows? What marshmallows? I brought out the thing of marshmallows yesterday oh. because guest host Melissa visited us to watch shows. And she likes hot cocoa, so I made her some hot cocoa and I brought her a big tub of marshmallows that Pyro has and now I'm eating them. Right. Well, pure sugar on top of energy drinks. I don't see anything wrong with that. Yep. This is going to be a great night. It sure is. I'm going to get a wonderful night's sleep. I'm going to wake up refreshed. Yep. I just wish I could do that with this, because, my god. 
So it really does make sense then for me to try to go for like a clean two rounds. Um, do you still have your phone? God, I wish you just had your laptop instead because it'll be fast. It would be faster to whatever. Anyway, basically, I want you to see. Um, I'm like thinking of how to word it, maybe just literally, just if I get knocked down once in the first two rounds, should I just restart the whole match? That's basically what I want to know. Because then if I redo this, it can change a strategy for me. Because I'm, again, from getting knocked down twice in the first two rounds, I'm going off a disadvantage with this part. I think what's going on with that stupid minigame is I'm caring way too much about the little lights. Uh, this is why we just need to do the show with you always having your laptop. Yeah. Fight Night Champion. Frost. enough keywords certainly hope so but yeah i i don't like guides that basically all they say is just do the thing play it's like i see what the game wants me to do the whole reason i'm looking for a guide is i need to know how to do what the game wants me to do so right. stupid yes that's fucking helpful Give a body shot up to the 75 that you're supposed to, then move around the ring. Spend this round and the next two rounds doing this. Don't go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to him. Round six and seven, you'll be guarding an open eye, eight shots max. Blah, 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 blah. Same thing you've heard in the last 15 guides. You kind of spoiled helpful. a bit, but that's all right. Did I? Yes. <laughs> Although I suppose I had mentioned it before. But, uh... Yeah. You have to listen to your corner man and it's easy. Is uh, someone actually said that? Uh-huh. Uh that's a that's a my dad works at Nintendo situation. Uh-huh. Try turning down the difficulty level. Yeah, that doesn't help, trust me. A really long mechanics bitch. Mechanics bitch? Yeah. I'm going to say the first sentence. This is what I hated about champion mode. Uh, Too many gimmicks. Doesn't allow you to just go in there, spelled T-H-E-I-R, and box. Against Frox, basically, you know you can only afford to get knocked down twice. Well, like, that's the whole point of champion mode. If you didn't want to play the, a mode with a lot of gimmicks, then fucking play legacy mode. That's the point. Yeah, apparently... You have to make it to the third round without getting knocked down. Oh, okay. So, all right. Good. That's good information. Because then that tells me that I'm basically fucked just doing this. And it would be in my best interest to restart the entire fight and try to survive However, again. this one person says they got knocked down once in round two and then in round four. Well, great. You, That's still a total yeah. of two. And... For me, I've been knocked down twice, now three times. Make that probably four. Uh, yep, there's four. When you have to land the 75 body blows, here's the strategy I used. Always back away and take defensive measures to keep his hands away from your face and the uppercuts away from your body. When you can just the distance well enough. What? Judge. When you can judge the distance well enough. Okay. Time him when he lunges with a wild hook, counter with a jab or straight, then do a quick body shot combination and get the hell out of dodge. Repeat. Hmm. Now see, that is good strategy. All right. If you start swinging almost immediately after your initial counter straight, back up and run a little more. No sense in taking unnecessary damage. Hmm. Just don't get knocked down in the first two rounds. Well... Mocking voice aside, that again is actually information I did need. Yeah. True, but it's been said by at least ten other people at this point. Has it? Because you yes. haven't read it to me yet. I've just been scrolling past it. Uh, I like, see. I don't know if you've seen my annoying little upticks. I haven't, because I've been fucking getting my ass beat by fucking Isaac Frost. 
Trick is not getting knocked down for in the first two rounds, says the 20th guy. Uh, at all. Okay, so, yes, that means I'm basically screwed. So it is in my best yeah. interest to just rematch from this point. It okay. is possible if you do it cautiously like the one guy said, because he had apparently taken two knockdowns. Well, he took one in the second, though. Like, that's different than taking two in the second. That's a world of difference in this game. Yeah, that is true. All right. Well, clearly this isn't going to happen tonight. So I am going to call the episode here. I'm going to try to practice this a little bit in a side file, and we're going to revisit the series when I think I sort of kind of know what I'm doing. So give me some love in the comments. I'm going to keep trying this. This is the bullshit that I was stuck on before. But I'm going to try to give it another shot. Oh so, my god, the rest of this thread is just tough, I queefs. <sighs> Great. What, like, I beat him in one attempt? Bullshit. Oh, somebody was pretty much in the same boat. I'm on normal difficulty and I'm down for good after a single shot. Yep. I've tried over a dozen times and now I'm giving up. And someone replied to it, And there's noobs who cry because they can't follow simple instructions. I have a 12-inch peener. He doesn't actually say that second thing, but that's... I'm getting that impression that this this guy has nothing else going for him in life. All right. Well, aggressive judgments aside, I don't really care. I will practice this and try to do it for the channel soon. We'll, we'll get back. To, um, I'm going to call it tonight anyway. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm clearly not going to get any better here. So I'm going to try to practice this on my side file and see what I can do. Anyway. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, as usual, since this is the eighth episode of the recording... Oh, this is a, this was only the seventh episode of the recording session. Still, I don't care. I'm going to call an early end of the session. So we're going to alternate this with a different series. Uh, if you're watching this on a release day, and then we'll get back to it. Um, if uh, I think I'll look up a few video walkthroughs as well, see if I can try to figure something out here. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode. Does the term adjust your sliders mean anything to you? Yes, actually. If your sliders are set for high knockdown rate, he's going to have his way with your with you whatever difficulty the game is on. Really? The trick is to have the slider set low enough so he can't kill you and high enough so you can knock him out. I'll think about that. But anyway, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for another one. Bye.